it's peaceful and it's very accommodating to people who are trying to do music and be creative because you don't have all the noise of the big city. You don't have all the stuff going on. You can come out here, chill out. There's woods, there's a lake, everything like that. If you want to get a different inspiration, just turn your head a different way and you got a different sight. It was just such a beautiful area and the people were so nice and everything. And I wanted to start something different with the music industry. It's some of the best talent that I have ever worked with that I've got some of these people between their writing and their performance. Yeah, I was in Nashville for a long time, but uh, so many people sound alike in Nashville. If you hear one band, and they're, they're all great bands down on Broadway, but when, you, but when you hear one of them, you've heard the same songs from every, every single place down the strip. And so, you know, we got contemporary Christian, we got Americana, we got pop, we got rock, we got everything. <laughs> I love rock and pop, and what I love about that is the instrumentation that actually Steve brings. That's my favorite part about recording at the Groove House, is that like, I come in and I, I have a song in my head, and I just have the lyrics and a melody, and I'll sit down with Steve. He's like, so what do you got for me? I said, I'm just going to sing you a song a cappella if you're <laughs> ready for it. And I'll sit there, start singing, and you just see his mind start to work, and you're like, What's he going to do? How, how, what are we going to do? And then he'll start he'll like pull up next to the piano or something. He'll pull out a piano or he'll pull out his guitar because he's a master at guitar. And he'll just start by like, he'll be like, oh, he'll like get a groove going down. The songs come from a place of heart. And for me, that's where I want to see music all times and every time. And that's what I appreciate most about music is it comes from the heart. And, um, Solomon Max one night got on the phone and called me. It was our first meetup. And basically they were like, you have to come down here. They were very insistent, like, you have to move down here. You know, that's a big risk to leave a, a job that you've worked at for 10 years to just pursue music. But I thought, like, I'm only getting older, so. I moved down here a year ago in May, and I've been pursuing music ever since with Steve. I'm living proof that you can live your dream if you'd want to. Just put your mind to it, do the work. It's been a different journey as far as moving from Nashville to here, but the people that I've met and the relationships that we've built here are solid and it seems more real than some of the ones you meet in Nashville because you know it's all about the music, 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 music. And it goes deeper than just music here. It's like people are brothers and sisters.